Hello everyone, welcome to Guru Squad. My name is Ahmed. I'll be uh, demonstrating GS Copy Pro version 8.1. But first, let me tell you a little bit about it so you have an idea of what this tool does. GS Copy Pro is a command line utility. It can copy folder. So it's a folder copier. Very, very similar to Robocopy. However, it does add quite a few nice features um, that we will be covering. GS Copy Pro uh, does not need to get installed on your machine. Um, it's basically just a zip file that once it's downloaded, you extract it, it gives you a GS Copy Pro folder, you go into it and you could run the commands from here, of course through a command line or through the GS Copy Pro UI.exe which is a a GUI, a Windows GUI basically that was created so that way you don't have to type all the different commands in the command line which is a very good feature um, it's a new feature that came out in version 8.1 and most of our clients use it and matter of fact we're gonna go ahead and do a demonstration uh, for you how to use it and show you how simple it is simple and intuitive now, to talk about the different GS Copy Pro features, let me go ahead and uh, cover them in, a, in some bullet points. GS Copy Pro, basically, as we stated before, it can copy data incrementally. Uh, we're talking about folders and files. So if you, um, if you have two different locations, they have the destination has similar data, but maybe a little bit outdated, GS Copy Pro would copy only files or folders that have been modified so that way your destination matches your source folders also alternatively instead of copying you could do a move so it can move the data from one location to another um, it could mirror the data which means if there are files in the destination that do not exist in the source then it will just go ahead and delete them from the destination so that they're both exact replica of each other um, or you could simply just copy uh, the directory structure we would copy the whole folder directory um, that you specify excluding any files um, one of the biggest advantages that GS Copy Pro offers um, over Robocopy is basically it can copy open and locked files this is 100% VSS, you know, Volume Shadow Service Integrated. So um, anytime there's a call to be made, anytime there's a file that's locked or open, GS Copy Pro will make a call to VSS and the file will be backed up for you or copied. GS Copy Pro can copy NTFS file permissions, file and folder permissions, it could copy, it would replicate file attributes, it will do uh, folder date and time to the destination to match what's in the source. Uh, by default, uh, most copy utilities uh, that's out there in the market, when you copy data, uh, the folders in the destination would actually not retain the same time, date and timestamps as the source. Where GS Copy Pro, you could basically with a checkbox through the UI say, you know, I want my destination folders to reflect the same dates that my source folders have. GS Copy Pro also gives you the option to log only errors or, you know, errors and warnings or just log everything. Um, if you do only errors, then your log files will probably be very small. Uh, this is very handy when you're trying to copy, you know, millions and millions of files, and you still want to log their activity. However, you're afraid that your log file is going to get so large in size that your files, your you might run out of space. So GS Copy Pro gives you the option to say, "Hey, just give me the errors. Don't give me anything else that's not of concern." Once a copying is done or the move or whatever task you're doing with GS Copy Pro, um, it has the option to send you an email. 
Um, it could use an SMTP, an open SMTP server. It could actually use one of those cloud services such as Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, whoever else is offering mail services and you have access to do SMTP. Just copy pro cans and use them to send you an email. <coughs> of course, if you have a private SMTP server, it could work with that as well. Very simple to configure. Our documentation goes over it, and I'll cover that as well. Of course, as we stated before, um, we have a GUI interface that gives you all the different available options, so you don't have to type one single command in the command line to get GS Copy Pro to work. It's very simple, intuitive, no command line experience required. After you've selected all the different options that you want from the GUI, through the GUI, then basically you can either create a batch file so that it saves a batch file and you just execute it, link it up to your task scheduler or schedule tasks, and uh, alternatively, instead of creating a batch file, you could just go ahead and say, you know, run it from within the GUI. Just click on run and it runs through. With that covered, let me go ahead and uh, open up the GUI for you. If you look at the GS Copy folder that you extracted, there's a GS Copy Pro UI. Double click on it. It's very simple. You go basically from top to bottom. You know, it asks you what's the source. If you place your mouse on top of the field, I'll tell you what exactly it stands for if you didn't know. So let's say we're going to go ahead and copy from the D drive. We're going to copy a folder called Software Distribution. Click OK. And we would like to copy, let's copy to the G drive. This is our destination. And we want to call it software distribution as well. So we're going to go from D drive to the G drive. Here it tells you what do you want to copy. Do you want to copy all, everything? And if you select copy all, you could check length, you know, you compare it based on length, uh, the size of the file. If it's the same size, then, you know, if the destination has the same file size and as the source, then skip that file, don't copy it. Do a comparison based on attributes or the last time the file was written. Or we could do a mirror and you could see all the different options if you place your mouse on top of it. This is where you preserve the date and timestamp. Do you want to copy security or not? Do you want to copy locked files? So I would highly suggest you do that. Uh, you could specify minimum and max age. You could say copy only files that are specific, you know, uh, that are not older than 10 days or, or not more than, you know, or copy files that are older than 10 days. And you just check the box and select which one you want. Otherwise, you set it to zero. Um, if you want to make a log, you could say, give me a, put a log for me, and put it, let's put it right here. Let's call it, you know, log file for software distribution. What kind of logging level do you want? And we can go in and we can do file and folder inclusions and exclusions. Um, very simple. You could do an asterisk, or you could specify a whole file name so that it can get included. So if you do, don't copy dot doc files. So any doc files won't be copied. If I said exclude, if I said include, it will only copy doc files. Same thing with folders. If you want to send an email, check the box that says send an email. Specify your email server. In our case, is XA3. Uh, we're not using SSL. We don't require authentication. I would like to receive a log of the file in the email. Uh, in my case, it's port 25. Um, I'm going to specify the from address and I would like it to go to my Hotmail address. And I can give it a subject. Subject could be a software distribution copy job. If I got my email settings properly, I could just do a test. And it tells me an email that it worked successfully. 
it will send an email um, once you get the test email. Now once we're done, we could click on generate. This basically generates a batch file. So you can go ahead and click on generate. And we would call it uh, software distribution uh, copy job. Click save. Notice that it will default to the GS Copy Pro. You definitely want to try to have your uh, you want to have your batch file in the same folder as GS Copy Pro EXE. So that when it runs, it knows you know it finds it. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to specify that in the batch file. Um, if we don't click generate, the other options we can click on run, and then it will go ahead and run the job right away from here. All right, so now if we go in and we look at the folder we created, software distribution.batch, if you click on it, you will notice GS Copy Pro. It put in the source for you, the destination, it said mirror, all the different parameters that we want to use, where to log it, and what kind of logging level. And it works out, you know what kind of email, where you're going to send it from, it basically took care of everything for you. What we can do then is we could just we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you the source and destination. This is the source, this is the folder we're going to copy it and it's going to be going to the G drive so we're going to end up, once we run this job, it should start copying we should see a software distribution folder. Uh, let me tell you one more thing. Um, I did lock a file in software distribution, so while the copying is running, it's going to go ahead and skip. It's going to not skip. Sorry, it's going to go ahead and detect that there's a file that's locked, and then at that point, it's going to invoke VSS to copy the folder. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. Double click on it. Right now it's copying, it's starting the copy job and detected there's a file that's locked. It's saying the process cannot access because the file is locked. It's invoking the open file agent. If you notice here it's got different dates from the, than the source. The copying job is going. But now, once the source, once the job was completed, it matched the destination to match the same data as the source. We got an email. If you open the email up, get it to my screen, you'll notice it's got basically sent me an email where it ran from, where it's going to, and it gave me all the different information that I wanted to know. It took 25 seconds to copy. You know, um, 128 megabytes, which had an open file. Uh, now, of course, my log file doesn't have any errors, and I said only give me errors, so it just gave me the summary. Otherwise, it would have given me the errors if there were any errors as well. If we had a verbos or we wanted to log everything, it would have given me everything that's in there. Um, with that said, um, I do want to point out that in every GS Copy Pro folder, we do have an admin guide. I would highly suggest that you open it once you download the software, whether it's trial or um, purchase. Uh, go through it. It does offer a lot of stuff. Um, it's about 14 pages. Very easy to read. Uh, we give you examples for every single option. Um, if you want to use the command line yourself, so you want to write the commands yourself, we give it to you. We tell you how to do it. Uh, what's the syntax, uh, what kind of parameters you can use, and if you want to go, uh, otherwise you're going to skip through and you don't want to read, you don't want to deal with the command lines, you could just go ahead and skip through page 10, uh, which uh, demonstrates and tells you how to use the GUI. The GUI is very simple, you could pretty much figure it out yourself, but if you wanted to get more information, you, could refer you should definitely reference the admin guide. Um, 
at the end of our admin guide we give you if you want to use Gmail we give you the different settings you can use with Gmail uh, you'd use basically 587 and you would enable SSL and you type your username and password if they are saved in the batch file they're actually saved as a clear text it's not encrypted so just make sure you you work with that if it's a Gmail just make sure it's a Gmail for the copy job then we give you some best practices if you're trying to migrate data how do you speed it up what's the best way to do it uh, and different things like that this is GS Copy Pro uh, demonstration I gave you pretty much a good overview uh, I showed you how to uh, use the GUI went over some some of the different features that the main features GS Copy Pro offers um, it's very important to note GS Copy Pro was designed and created by uh, Guru Squad it happened uh, it, it, we started developing it back in 2003 uh, right now it's a version 8.1 8 um, so it's been about you know more than 10 years uh, as of today um, so it's fully supported uh, whether you're doing a trial or you're purchase the software we give you unlimited support so if you have if you need help whether it's with the GUI or typing the command lines or you've got an issue going on with GS Copy Pro it's not working like the way it's anticipated at least not for you then we will be more than happy to help you out. Um, you know, we've got staff working around the globe supporting this tool. It's been very successful, and uh, we'd like to thank you for your business and thank you for viewing.